Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. Now, I did mention before that I was going to give you little tricks and hints whenever I came across them. And one of the things that I do when I drywall is that when I think I'm finished sanding, then I go ahead and I pull out a little flashlight, dim the lights in the room, and then I go ahead and I shine the light on the sanded area to see if there's any bubble holes or bigger scrapes that I couldn't see visually or feel with my hands. So I'm going to give you an idea of what that's like. So I'm going to pull the camera over here so you can see the sanded area that I did and we're going to inspect for any kind of nail holes or anything. Alright, so I'm over here and what I do is I take the light and I put it on an angle like this. You can see the light in my hand. I shine it sideways on the, on the project and I can see here and I can see here and I can see here and here some, some little nail hole, not nail holes, but uh, uh, bubble holes uh, from the drywall um, from when I sanded because it's got some bubbles in it. So what I do is at that point is I take a little bit of mud on my knife and I go over it, force it in, scrape it off. Force it in, scrape it off, force it in, scrape it off, just like we learned before. In about 10 minutes, we'll take another look at it and see if it needs any kind of additional, additional mud on there. And then we just give it a light sanding and go ahead and prime and paint. But for right now, Let's wait and see what happens at this point. So we'll be back. All right, we're back. Let's take another look and see what happens over here. See if we can uh, just give this a quick sanding and wipe it down with a, a, a damp rag and then we can prime and paint. So let's take a look. Let's set this back up like this. All right, here's our light. You can see where the bulges are. Here, 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 and here. These are the things that we re repair. We got down here and here too, but so let's take a look and see if it's gonna give us a light sanding. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And that's how I do it. All right, so let's go over with the damp rag. Very damp rag, just enough to pick up all of the dust. And it looks great. Okay, it looks great. If it needed another coat, we put another coat on it, but it really does look good. And it is now ready for priming and painting. Little tips. Just little stuff like that makes your project look much, much better after you've primed and painted. Because priming and painting doesn't hide anything, it kind of accentuates it. So, if you would please, please subscribe. And if you like uh, listening to, to, to what I'm telling you, little chores and tips and how to do things. And uh, uh, I'll see you on the next video.